it's a self-fulfilling problem. You demonize, and then you, it, we call it the wrap-up smear. If you want to talk politics, you call it the wrap-up smear. You smear somebody with falsehoods and all the rest, and then you merchandise it. And then you write it, and they'll say, see, it's reported in the press that this, 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 and this, so they have that validation that the press reported the smear, and then it's called the wrap-up smear. Now I'm going to merchandise the press's report on the smear that we made. And it's, it's a tactic, and it's, it's, it's self-evident. But I think I'm worth the trouble, quite frankly. I, I love the fray. I the difference is we don't engage in the politics of personal destruction. Huh? I know, I'm not disrespectful of people's views. Huh? I, I, I respect any positive things that people want to say, or even negative, as, as long as it's constructive. Huh? And lately there's been a lot of coverage in the real news about the growing and booming business of creating fake news. Fake news story. Fake news. So-called fake news. Fake news. And fake news stories. Fake news. Fake news does matter. When it's somebody in a very high-profile position. Clearly fake news stories. Fake news websites. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. We do have problems. I think everybody feels it right now. <laughs> We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people. Wow, you really must have been brainwashed. That's my news for you. The bears don't exist. These are all speculative rumors.